I'd always known who I was, father, brother, protector. But when I was diagnosed with kidney disease, all I could hear was the word patient. Thanks to home dialysis and Fresenia's kidney care, I'm still all of those things and more. You did good, Mijita. Now I can proudly say I'm a father, brother, protector, <laughs> grandfather. If you have Medicare, you have more freedom of choice than ever before with Medicare Advantage, thanks to legislation called the Cures Act. People on dialysis may now have a new insurance option, Medicare Part C, also called Medicare Advantage. Your insurance coordinator can help you explore this new option. Some Medicare Advantage plans may have a $0 premium and offer additional benefits at the same or lower total out-of-pocket costs as Medicare in one comprehensive plan with one insurance card. Medicare Advantage is just one of the many insurance options available to people on dialysis. Insurance can be complicated, and we're here to help. Your Fresenius Kidney Care Insurance Coordinator can answer your questions about insurance and dialysis costs and help you explore your options. Talk to your insurance coordinator before making a change to your insurance. We're committed to helping you stay healthy and feel your best. So be sure to talk to your care team about how you're feeling at each dialysis treatment. Let us know if you have any concerns or want to talk to your social worker about how you're feeling. We're here to support you during this challenging time and taking important steps to help you and our care team stay healthy and safe. When you arrive, we'll ask you, have you had a fever, a cough, or been in contact with anyone who tested COVID-19 positive. Answering yes to these does not mean we will send you to the hospital. It's important we know if you've been feeling any symptoms so we can get you the treatment you need. You may be asked to receive treatment at a separate environment or a different dialysis facility for your safety and the safety of those at your center. In addition, Hand washing is required by everyone entering and exiting our centers. Visitors are generally not permitted in our centers to minimize risk to our patients and care team. We expect everyone to wear a mask when in our centers. Everyone on the care team must wear face shields, full protective gowns, and gloves in treatment areas. Our treatment area is disinfected after each patient bathrooms, and common spaces between shifts. And our centers are heavily disinfected on a daily basis or more frequently as needed. We're here to support you. Your health and safety are our top priority. My name is Valerie Todd. I am from Greenwood, Mississippi. I've been on PD dialysis for 11 years. It was due to uh, pregnancies as well as high blood pressure with both pregnancies. I got the news that she had to go on dialysis after breast cancer, and that was devastating for a minute. But both of them, we talked about it. We come home, we, we loved and hugged one another. We say, we can do this. It was a fight, but we fight that fight. I had to accept the fact that I had renal failure. My kidneys were failing. So once I talked to the Dr. White, I finally accept the will that my kidney was uh, not functioning properly. She's so strong. When she first got it, she was working. So, and she kept working, so I was like, yeah, she has a lot of perseverance with herself. When I get off work at 5 o'clock p.m., I would come home, I would prep myself for supper and homework or whatever else I need to do in the house and get ready for bed, set the machine up first, and then I had to time myself in order to be at work the next morning. You have to stay positive and you have to not listen to anything else outside of that because 
if you do, you're not going to want to do it at home. I think it really is a, a huge difference if you do it at home. It's amazing how she's still doing it and still like herself. You can set your own machine up. You know what to do and you're just more comfortable because when you're doing it yourself, you know you're going to be clean at doing it and you know how to do it and you're just going to be comfortable within yourself knowing that if I can do PD at home, I can set my own machine up so I can trust myself. When you have kidney disease, your kidneys may have trouble balancing the sodium and water in your body. Too much sodium can make you feel thirsty, cause fluid weight gain, and even lead to high blood pressure. Salt is mostly sodium, so it's important to learn how to reduce the amount of salt in your diet. Here are some tips to help you stay healthy and shake off the salt. Eating smarter begins with shopping smarter. Shop the outer aisles of the grocery store or visit your local farmer's markets to choose fresh foods. Fresh is best and there are many great foods to choose. Forget fast foods. If you do treat yourself to fast food, do it in moderation and remember your portion sizes. Discover bold flavors by selecting spices. There are lots of ways to make food tasty. Instead of salt, Try big, bold spices like paprika, chili powder, rosemary, garlic powder, or basil. Learn the lingo and read the label. There's a whole special language of nutritional information. And the more you know it, the better you'll be able to shake off the salt. Choose foods with a percentage daily value of less than 10% for sodium. Also, choose sodium-free or low-sodium foods. Foods that are labeled reduced sodium or light in sodium can still be high in sodium or high in potassium, so always check the nutrition facts. Consuming less sodium makes you feel less thirsty, helps you retain less fluid, and improves your health. Talk to your dietitian to learn more about shaking off the salt. For more information, visit fresiniuskidneycare.com salt.